Coming right up is Indie News number 182. We're going to go around the Indie Universe and we're going to stop off at IDW. Big super secret crossover coming to the kids' books over at IDW. We're going to tell you what that is. Big, big, big crossover. Also, we're going to go over to Image and talk about Invincible 111 and how that's going to flip the script on everything in the Invincible Universe. We're going to talk about The Field which started off as a Twitter joke and is going to wind up on newsstands all across the country. Warren Ellis and Image Comics are doing trees, which is all about killer trees. I swear to God, that's what it's about. And we're going to wrap it all up with Archie, the most progressive publisher in comics, is going to have a new writer come on board. We're going to let you know who she is. And if you watch HBO, you will recognize the name. All that and more right after this. Why are we moving? What happened? No, Bo. Sitting through a double feature is not cardiovascular exercise. Any news is next. The definition of preaching to an empty church from a pristine pulpit. <laughs> In the comic book news, episode 182, Trans Warp Escalator. Oh, is it time? Oh, hi, folks. How you doing? Comic book news. Comic book man here. Welcome to my video on house. Bo! Yes! I just woke up. What time is it? It's indie news time. <laughs> oh, indie news time. God, those, those power naps are great. Indie news time. Coming to you from this place. Alternate reality. Located oh, at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate reality where all my new indie comics are 15% off every day for everyone. It's all my IDW comics, all my image comics. Uh, I'm going on a list here. What else? And Archie. Uh, all my Archie Archies. comics. All of Everything's them. Always 15% off every day for everyone. We're going to start off with IDW and Cartoon Network. Louise Simonson, she's going to write what? A six-issue IDW Cartoon Network crossover called Super Secret Crisis Wars, <laughs> which will feature the Powderpuff Girls, Samurai Jack, Dexter's Laboratory, and, and, and Eddie and Ben 10. The event will also have five one-shot issues coming out this July, written by very, very well-known all-ages writers. Cool. Cool. For all the kids, come on in. Yeah, come on down, Pick kids. We have a huge selection of kids' Super comics here at Alternate first. Reality, and we will, of course, be carrying that one when it comes out. Meanwhile, over at Image, Invincible number 111, 111, will begin uh, a what? A darker, more violent turn for the title. The issue more so than they've had up till now? Well, issue number 18 involves someone's head getting split open. So exactly. <laughs> this is a precursor to the darkness oh. that's coming. And it's all... You're just getting warmed up. It'll also be Ryan at least 100th straight issue working on the book. So he's been working on the book for 100 issues. Okay. Congratulations. Uh, Ed Brisson and Simon Royd's The Field miniseries from Image is based on what? Uh, Brisson thought it would be funny to post on Twitter that he was... He went out one night, got loaded, and found himself 800 miles away from his home. That's a riot. And he kept the bit going on on Twitter all day long. And so people were going, is he really kidnapped? Or is he jerking our chain? He was jerking our chain, but he said, you know, I could make a comic out of this. And it involves a guy who wakes up in a wheat field wearing nothing but his underwear and no memory of who he is and how he got there. The field. The field. The field. Cool. It also involved biker gangs and crazy Christians. Uh, if you picked up this month's previews, the uh, March issue yes. of previews, mm -hmm. you saw that one of the covers featured Warren Ellis's the trees. Trees. What's up with the trees? Trees. No, it's not the trees. It's, trees are it's cool. Trees. Trees are it's cool. Trees. trees are It'll cool. It'll be drawn by Jason Howard. It's a science fiction tale about yes. a alien species that apparently look like trees who've been hidden on Earth for oh, ten years. The first arc is eight issues. Only ten years. Only ten years. They've been. Oh, okay. they, the, the, the copy says they show up and they're standing there and no one notices them and they've been hiding and now all of a sudden they go hmm, hiding out in the open, huh? We're hiding out in the open. Let's kill people. Oh, okay. So killer trees. Killer trees. <laughs> Is, are they oaks or sequoias? Uh, probably sequoias. Sequoias are noted to be really nasty. People. Yes, they have bad attitudes. They're very bad. If you've ever seen a sequoia, you know they have a very They're nasty very attitude. Great. Willows are whiners. You know what it is? Willows are whiners. Yes, weeping enough, willows. They're whiners. They don't get enough brand. They don't get enough brand. They need to clean themselves out. <laughs> Our last story involves girls. That's uh, that's, that's girls. That's the HBO that's series. A, that's the HBO series. Uh, Lena Durham. She's Dunham. a star. She's, Lena Dunham. She, or Dunn. Lena Dunham. 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 Emmy okay. Award winning Lena Dunham. Dunham. She is going to write four of all publishers. Archie. Archie. She's doing a four part Archie in continuity arc starting in 2015. This is one of the first new announcements from the brand new chief creative officer, Roberto Aguirre Sacasa. I know him. He started working he's, over he's, with Marvel. He was he's a, guy a writer. Spider Man, where the, well, 
the, the Spider-Man musical. He's a script doctor that punched up the Spider-Man musical. He also, did the same, he also did the same thing for the Superman musical from yeah. back in the 60s. Mm -hmm. He punched that up also for it to be re-released. He is DC. He's, he's, he's Archie's first only. They, they never had a chief creative officer before. And what's really interesting is he's, he's gay. So he's a big deal gay creator who's in charge. He's also playing an afterlife with, afterlife with Archie's sister book involving Sabrina because apparently afterlife with Archie has gone quite well. You know, yeah. it's Archie and zombies. Mm -hmm. And issue number four came out this week and they said very, very bad things happened. Yes, well, everything bad has happened in Riverdale and Archie Afterlife. Archie Nothing good has happened in Archie Afterlife it's, it's, to Riverdale. It's Archies and zombies. Archie Ar Pimple? Uh, no, 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 no. Think, think, no. think, 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 think Walking, Walking Dead, dead with, uh, with Archies. Yeah, think Archies. Really? They went that route, huh? Yeah. They went that route. Oh, for a while now. That's issue yeah. four. It's yeah, it's been coming out for a while. It's been coming out for a while because they're also doing a book which is based, you know, the character's older and grown up because yeah. this is part of Archie's old reaching out to the regular audience. Archie, saying, hi, hi. We do other stuff. You know, we got a gay, we got a gay character, yeah, Kevin no, Keller. We, still got an you know, Archie we, we got a movie that's going to come on at some right? point. Yeah. You know, so we want to make people go, oh yeah, Archies don't suck. Archie, if you haven't picked up an Archie in a while, and not, the whole line isn't like this because they still no. do traditional Archie sure. comics. But if you haven't picked up an Archie comic in a while, they are probably the most progressive, and I mean that with a capital P. They're probably the most progressive publisher that's out there now. Uh, more so than DC, more so than Marvel. They have crossed all sorts of taboos, and, and they're talking about all sorts of issues. You never would have expected Archie to talk about, not just Living Dead stuff. But like you said, Kevin Keller, gay, married, regular, ongoing character in the Soon Archie Soon to become universe. a superhero. Soon to become a superhero. Because Lena Dunham should probably Lena Dunham. Little apparently little Lena Dunham, Dunham is, she's been a huge Archie fan. They sent her a whole bunch of issues. They said she, they sent her like a box of Archie. She said she read the whole box in like two days. The, uh, the, uh, Mar the uh, Married Life with Archie or Life with Archie yeah. the magazine that looks at the married life uh, storyline that's still going on. That's fairly adultly adultly written. It's not adult adult, but I mean it's, it's very it's, maturely it's, written. It's not written for kids. It's not written for kids. I mean, kids can read it, but it's not. I mean, there's nothing terrible in it. But it, it's it's not your typical you know eight page blackout Archie comic. Uh, it, it's about their married life. So you have to think about this. You know, this is we, usually when we talk about this company, we talk about the Nancy Silverkite being a nut, you know, storyline going well, on, or allegedly a nut. Well, thing. alleged, so this, you know, alleged, allegedly, you know, allegedly, allegedly, there are those people who work at Archie who have had some problems, with some her. some issues with other yes. crews, and yet. And yet, you know, they've actually said we're going to do different stuff because they're fully aware of the fact that most people go, I'm going to read Archie till I'm six years old, and then I'm going to walk away. Yeah. <laughs> well, they said, well, why don't we get some of these people to come back instead of walking away? And like I said, if you're still looking for traditional Archie comics, they still do do that, too. They still do those. Because there's always six-year-olds. Yeah. Well, yeah. We, they make them all every day. And that's it. We're done with Finish Rivalry. we got no more indie news. Go to the store's website. Check out all the indie news. Boy sends Bo. Bo sends me this is our Ma! this is our seventh one. Excuse me. Bo sends me that I you post up there. Coffee. Bo. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna go right out of limb here. Boy. Uh -oh. Sarah. Oh, <laughs> 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 Can I get back to my numbers now? So go to the store's website. Check out all his news. Until next time. This is Comic Book Man. And this sorry. Is... I'm sorry. It was a joke. It was a joke. Sorry. He, he is... <laughs> why, why are there Batman books that are worth a dynamite? Because it's the based on the movie, you idiot. Oh, well, there's no sign. Oh, so see ya. That, so much for that apology. So anyway, until next time, folks, bye. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.